Well, folks, I got just about everything done. Thought I might take y'all on a little ride, but you see how everything come out. pretty as we say down south look how pretty that sun getting ready to set back there is this not beautiful you never know this all used to be in trees i'm getting lazy in my old age i like to ride <laughs> this little old buggy's a trick my grandpa used to call every night Right here's the corner of my property. See that little red stake right there? big old brush pile. What that is, when they cut all 400 of these trees out, they hauled everything off in logs but left me the top out of the trees. That's been there about four years now, so I'm going to see if the fire department will come out here and help me and I'm going to burn that probably in the next little bit. I love this old cedar tree right here. Don't you look at how pretty. I keep it trimmed up. That's just plum pretty, ain't it? But you look how good my grass is doing. Right there's the other corner of my property, right below them little daisy flowers there. And then it turns and goes up through here. When Sam and Claire was living and healthy, that used to be a peach orchard and a vineyard right there. I've let it grow up and need to clean it out, but it's still got peach trees, apple trees, and grapevines in there, and a ton of blueberries. I'm gonna get them blueberries away. So you can see where the vineyard used to be down through there. See all them poles? There's a fence there, and the vines used to hang on that fence. But as you can see, there's some of these old trees I need to cut out and make firewood out of. I'll probably do that in the fall. Right there's the other corner of the property. Right in there where that tree is. See that little red flag right there? That's where the corner is. This down here belongs to the city, town of Pilot. The uh, Nelson Trails over at the Civic Center, they come out right down there at the bottom of the hill. And I've got a path cut along here so when the kids from the school want to run track, they can go down through there and run all the way over to East Surrey and back. You see them stakes with a little flag on them. I had everything surveyed about six months ago, so I know where the line is in all the corners. The 
Look how pretty up there, Yonder. Look how pretty my grass is doing. I need to get somebody to come and bail it. Take you all the way back to the Civic Center right there. My line's right yonder. Y'all know you see a little flag way over on the other side of them trees. That's where the other corner is. Right there's my blueberry bushes right there. There's a bunch of blueberries. Here's an old building that Simp used to park his tractor in. Put stuff underneath. It's about to fall down. I pile junk up in it till I get a load, and then I take it over to the landfill and get rid of it. There's my water tanks I used last fall to water the yard. Here's all my farm equipment I got left, and I still got some over at the farm. There's new facility for my chickens when I get the wire, get it cleared up and uh, put the back on it right there and uh, run the wire. And then my little chickens can come out and run and play and not have to worry about that fox. And right here's my toy shed where I keep all my toys. I'm really a blessed man, I really am. Here's the back of the house and my bird feeders. Here's my chicken coop. Hey girls, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Huh? How are y'all doing? Huh? How y'all doing? Hey girls. Y'all gonna lay me some eggs in the morning? But you look at all the chickens. I'm chicken poor. Look how pretty my yard come out. I'm plum proud of that, y'all. Down through yonder. Ain't that pretty? Look that sun getting ready to set over that hill right there. Come out good. And this is my other cedar tree. Look at that thing. Ain't that pretty? And right there's my sweetheart bench. If I ever get me a sweetheart, I'm gonna sit on that. Time being, I just come out here every now and then have a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, one of these days I might get a sweetheart. You never know. That's why I keep the bench. I don't never say never. <laughs> and that's the house I grew up in down there. That's my mom and daddy's house. Folks that bought that house sure have made a pretty place out of it. They really took care of it. <laughs> right down yonder is my wheat field. I'm cutting just a little bit of that every now and then for the chickens to eat. See it there? It's mature now. I go down there every day and cut a little bit, put it in a uh, chicken run up there for the chickens to get the grain off of it. And there's that empty sweetheart bench. Been empty for eight years. <laughs> Probably be empty for eight more. Old wore out men like me ain't in big demand no more, I guess. <laughs> for good reason. We're setting our ways. Well, listen, folks, this completes the tour, so I hope y'all have enjoyed the ride. Uh, just want y'all to know that uh, I love you and appreciate you being my friend. And uh, I wish y'all nothing but a blessed evening and a fantastic day tomorrow. And uh, I want to thank all the veterans for their service and for all the families that have sacrificed people they love 
defending my freedom, defending your freedom. Let us never forget what those people did for us. Let us never forget. Because some of them lost arms and legs and eyes and some of them gave their lives just so we could all do what we want to do. And I think that's the greatest gift anybody could ever give us. So let us never forget the sacrifices, the, uh, the military and the civil law enforcement and the first responders and the families of these folks that have had to do without their loved ones. So let us never forget what these folks have done for us. Have a blessed Memorial evening. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. He really is. Look at this.